gospel track about Jesus, guys? Oh, I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> gospel track about Jesus Christ, man. Hey, thank you, brother. All right, praise God. Is there a trash can right there? Yeah, right there, actually. Oh, sure. Yep. Yeah, man. Yeah, just, uh, you know, that one in particular is just about, you know, just about the things in the world, you know, to distract us and stuff yeah. away from knowing God, you know what I mean? And there's so much of it here, obviously, like in America especially, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we just walk around, there's like so much stuff to distract us, so much entertainment, things like that. There's a lot of things right here in the four corners, huh? What's that? In the four corners. Four corners? Yeah, it's four corners. Huh. What's you know, that? Colorado, Utah, and Mexico. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, Yep. And it's like, it's like, uh, how do you say, uh, how do you say, like, uh, the power is all coming from? Oh, like yeah. a, um, a intersection or yeah, uh, like, like a, interconnecting? Yeah. And so does, um, like, like, other parts of the country, you know? Yeah. Other yeah. parts, you know, and, and that's why they got those, you know, stacking things, you know, they got those, you know, poles, all kinds of stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, right. Where energy just goes through, you know, and the face of the earth. Oh, I, I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. It's like that around here in the four corners. What's that? Well, the, you know, the Bible says, man, it's it's real simple, too, what the Bible says about, you know, um, our us and our relationship with God. Yeah. And, um, you know, how it says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Yeah. Every single, I mean, it's saying every, every single person has sinned. But, you know, going forth... You know, there's a, I don't know if you've ever read the Gospel of John before, but there's two verses in the, or actually two passages in the Gospel of John where Jesus, uh, one, it was a man that was sick of 38 years and he healed him in a moment. And then he found him later on in the temple and he actually told him to stop sinning. He said, go and sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon you. And then um, a lot of people know about, you know, the woman that was caught in adultery mm. that was about to be stoned to death. Stoned to death, yeah. And, um, Jesus, you know, when, when they asked him, they said, you know, this woman, the law says we should stone her to death because she was caught in adultery. What do you say? And he told them, whichever one of you has no sin may cast the first stone at her. Mary, and because they knew they would have been in hypocrisy, they all set their stones down and walked away. That was Mary he, Magdalene, was it? No, no, it was just some random woman. Some random woman? Yep. But he was left standing all alone, alone with the woman, and he came up to her and asked her, and he said, is there no, left, no one left to condemn you? And she said, no one, Lord. She called him Lord. And he said, well, I, didn't, I do not condemn you either, but go and sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon you. So once, uh, the, the lesson is there, you know, once once G, once we come to know Jesus and we have a knowledge of our sin, we know what we need to do then, then he gives us actually the power to stop sinning. When, uh, when we believe on, the Bible says, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. When we actually believe on, and believe is like synonymous with obey. So we actually, you know, once we make him our Lord, you hear a lot of people say, make him your Lord and Savior. Well, to make someone your Lord is to make them your ruler over you. So Jesus is a king. So, you know, when we make him our Lord and Savior, then we actually, you know, we're proclaiming that we're actually going to do what he told us to do. And um, in John uh, chapter 3, verse 36, it actually says, He who believes on the Son, Son of God, Jesus, has everlasting life. But he who does not obey the Son does not have life, but the wrath of God abides on him. And it actually says in Hebrews chapter 5, verse 9, that Jesus Christ, having been perfected, became the author of eternal life, or eternal salvation, unto all those who obey him. So that's, that's really the, you know, the message uh, that you'll see on that gospel track. Um, Do you get one, man? No, you want to? You're, you're, you make me want to... You got a fruit. You know, it's and all, all it is, man. It makes you think, bro. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's you know, all we what we got to do is we got to humble ourselves, you know, and yeah. believe that that God is who He says He is, and He's the Son of God, Jesus Christ, came 1989 years ago, or died 1989 years ago, but He died for your sins. Um, he died for your sins, died for my sins, but see, what a lot of the American church system preaches these days is that He died for our sins so we could keep sinning. You know, like that his blood covers our sin, so it's so we don't have to worry about it. But it's not the Bible actually says he was made a sacrifice. He was made a sacrifice for our sins. So he actually died so that we could be set free from our sins, so we could be forgiven at all. Because the Bible says without the shedding of blood there's no remission of sins. 
So he was the he was he is our our atonement for our sin, but to be in him is to obey him. So once we're in him, we we got to stop sinning, and we can only do that to the power of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. But we can stop sinning. Um, you know, like Hebrews five nine says, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all those who obey him. So if you take that statement with that saying there, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all those who obey him. That's a very definitive statement, right? We can take the inverse of it and actually say that he is not the author of eternal salvation unto all those who do not obey him. So without, if we don't obey him, we're not in him. Um, in 1 John uh, chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, it says, By this we know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the, and the, and his, and the, um, and the truth is not in him. So that's not talking about the law, like the capital L-A-W, uh, Moses, the law of Moses. It's talking about the law of grace, the law of Jesus Christ. So it, do you have a Bible? If you, if you, if you get a Bible, man, get, uh, get a literal translation, like a King James, New King James. Um, get one with the words of red in it. And um, you can actually see what all the words are read. Um, you can read those and see what Jesus commands of us. And, and it's actually his law is already written on your heart. You, you have a, I have a conscience. You have a conscience. He has a conscience. Everybody Our conscience. Has, everybody has. Yeah, everybody has a conscience. We know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. It talks in Jeremiah how he's going to write his law in our hearts, in our yes. minds. He'll, he'll, he'll make us known to us. That's the new covenant. Everybody know you, you know right from wrong. You know it's wrong to murder, to yeah. steal, to yeah. you know to lie, Everything, stuff like yeah. that. But we all we've all done it. But that doesn't mean we have to continue for uh, doing it as we go as we go forward. forward yeah. If if you cry out to Jesus, man, you can. I mean, you can do it by yourself. It doesn't. It doesn't. You don't. It's not a sinner's prayer. It's nothing like that. It's just humbling yourself and crying out to Him. Say, Jesus, man, I I want to know you. I, I want I want you to change my life. I want you to take away all my sin, and I want to walk with you in obedience. I want you to show me how to do that. And he 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 is merciful, and he he will do that, man. He did it to me six years ago. So almost, actually, almost seven years ago now. I was. I was riddled with panic attacks, man. Severe anxiety. Uh, I, I got dismissed from my job. I had to go figure it, you know, get it fixed and everything. And so I was out of work for two months. I couldn't even leave the house without having one of these things. And it would literally, like, it was almost like I was having a stroke. Um, I, I would hit the floor and I'd be, like, stiff as a board, oxygen drunk. And I was, I was completely filled with fear. I thought I was going to die and stuff. And I, I just got so exhausted. One night in June of 2015, man, I was laying in my bed crying. I was so afraid I was going to die. shaking, uh, spit coming out of, you know, snot running down my yeah. nose. I was a mess. And I just, I was laying in my buddy's guest room in his house because I, I left my house because I didn't want to be alone. And I'm laying there all, all by myself, 1 o'clock in the morning. And I just, I just, and I just, I was crying. And I'm just like, Jesus, I don't know you, but I want to know you. Please help me. Just get, you know, please get me out of this mess that I, I know I caused it. And everything changed in a moment, man. Not because I'm anyone special, man. He's not a respecter of persons. He doesn't see you any different than me. It, or, or him, you know, he, he, he loves us all equally. But he also hates the workers of iniquity, it says in Psalm 5.5. 5. Mm -hmm. So if so, we, we got to turn away from our sin, humble ourselves and turn away from our sin. And, um, and he'll, he'll give us mercy. And you'll see, man, I mean, if you do that, if you turn to him with all your heart, and you're just, I'm, I give my life to you. I, whatever you want me to do, you know, he's, he's, if you do that, he's going to fill you with a joy to go preach his word, just like I'm doing right now. This is, I don't, I don't you know, he, he made me love to do this, to, to, to talk to other people about him, tell other people about him. He'll do the same for you, man. And that's, he'll use that, he'll use the rest of your life to do that, to be his servant. And it's not, it's not about earning salvation, you know. The, the Bible says that all, we're saved by grace through faith and that not of ourselves is the gift of God not of works lest any should boast um, so don't don't let anyone deceive you into thinking that you know doing acts of righteousness you know being the Bible says he who, he who practices righteousness is righteous just as he Jesus is righteous he who sins is of the devil it's, it's not about us earning our way to heaven it's about obeying the one that has saved us you know he's a king and like you know if, if he saves us we owe him our life right and body says, you know, um, give your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to him, which, which is a reasonable service. So what, what's your name, man? Keith. Keith? Yeah. I'm Adam. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. It, you know, it's it's just, if, if you can get a Bible, I, I wish I had one on me. Um, let me. Let me give you this.
I got a, this is a, it's, it's King James, um, King James Version. It's the Gospel of John. It's the 43rd book in the Bible. And it's just, you know, if you can just read that, man. Um, Gospel of John's a great place to start. But if you can get yourself a Bible and just start reading it, man, and just, you know, it's, it's, we, we just got to believe it with a childlike faith, you know. Um, a lot of people will question, you know, or, or, you know, when somebody's in their sin, especially, you know, you'll find yourself questioning it because you, there's a tug of war happening there with the, you know, not wanting to give up their sin. But if you just believe the words, of, the word of God with a childlike faith, he'll change you, man. Your heart, he'll renew your heart, put a new heart in you to replace your heart of, heart of stone with a heart of flesh. Yeah. He, he, he's, he's a good God, man, and I promise you he's real. He'll come and he'll dwell in you. You'll, you'll have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, and you'll just you'll have you'll have the power, man. And he'll you know whatever whatever mess you're in right now. I mean, I, I you know we all have issues that we go through in life, but you know he'll 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 strengthen you to do his will. Whatever whatever he knows what you need before you ask him, and he'll give you what you need, man. You know what whatever kind of messes you're in. And as you change, you'll you'll just see like you know the the old things, the way that you used to live. You know what I mean? All that stuff will just pass away. You'll hate you'll hate your sin. You'll literally hate the stuff that you used to do, and you'll have a new joy in your heart to do God's will. It's powerful, man. Yes. And and you can know that you have eternal salvation. You know yeah. that you'll have eternal That's life. True. And and it's not it's not what people you know. Um, a lot of people you know so someone may say like, well you know it's it's about getting to heaven. But it's really not because the new life starts now. You know, when, once you get born again. You know, it was a trip. My, uh, my, my, my best friend from prison, hmm? he became a preacher. Hmm. He was, it hurt me because he was homeless, bro. You know what I mean? But now, he's preaching, bro. And as he said, he told me, he goes, you know what? God's good. Amen. God's good. He, he is. Goes, you know what? Whatever I did, whatever I did, whatever I did, he came up, bro. And he's, he, I'm serious, bro. That's true. That's what he said. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah and you, the, know, the, you know, like I said, the God, God don't judge. Mm -hmm. Just everybody has sins, bro. He's perfect. That's what he said. And you know what? Tell me, man. My friend is like, yes. Yes, everything now, bro. Mm -hmm. The guys who love the world, that you got to lose whoever, believe in him. Mm -hmm. Everything will perish, but have everlasting life, yeah. So what are you saying? What are you saying? Yeah. And it, it's, um, and it, and it goes on after that, too, because, you know, it's, like, that's, John 3.16 is a beautiful verse. Absolutely, amen. Um, but it's, the, the thing of it, it's, it's a part of a longer conversation that Jesus was having with one man named Nicodemus. He's a Pharisee. And, um, you know, he told him, he said, you know, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, that's anybody, uh, all, all people, not one select tribe of people, like some people like to say, whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And then it goes on to say, for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes on him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. And this right here is the condemnation that the light, who is Jesus Christ, has come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light. That's darkness is their sin. Rather than light because their deeds were evil. Evil deeds sin. Everyone who practices evil hates the light, hates Jesus Christ, and does not come to, to the light, Jesus Christ, you know lest what? his deeds be exposed. You know but what's he crazy? It's crazy. Yep. I'm sorry. You know what's crazy? <laughs> I've been having like, 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 like dreams yeah. that the world's like, like I know, like, it's, I've been having it like every time, bro. Like it's just like the world's just going like, like fire. People yeah. People fucking crying. Everybody just like everybody's all celebrating and having fun, and man, they're like all scared. And mm -hmm. It's just it's weird, man. So like, I can't explain, but you know what? I've been having these dreams, man. I know this. It, it's time, bro. It's, it, time it is it's yeah time, bro. today's the day of salvation yeah now's the time today if you hear his voice heart and not your heart is in the rebellion and that's that's true man because you know the bible the bible talks about how it was in the days of noah before the flood 
he, it was talking about how people were eating and drinking, marrying, giving in marriage. And then the flood came and destroyed them all. Yeah. All the eight people, yeah. Noah and his family, you know, yeah. because he, he built the ark. And they remember they were mocking him and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. you know, they were do that. mocking his scoffing. Like, yeah. you know, oh, what are you do, doing building yeah. this big boat and everything? And, you know, what you say is not going to happen. It's not, destruction is not going to come upon us. And then it did, you know, and it destroyed the whole world. The whole world got flooded. And it says it's going to be the same thing in the last days when the Son of Man comes. Jesus is the Son of Man. We're going to be eating, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage. And, you know, he's going to come back in an hour when we don't know. And, um, you know, there's there's a doctrine that's going around about, you know, a pre-tribulation rapture that, you know, he's going to come and rapture the church out, you know, and before, he did, you know, before the tribulation comes. But see that it's that's such a complicated doctrine. And I always look at it like, you know, how Jesus said, you must become like little children and you by no means enter in the kingdom of God. So if a child can't, there's no way a child could to understand that doctrine that they put together with this pre-tribulation rapture stuff. But if you look in Matthew 24, it talks about how, you know, the Son of Man is going to come at the end after the great tribulation. He's talking to his disciples, explaining to them how they're going to be here for this great tribulation. It actually says in verse 21, Matthew 24, 21, it says there will be great tribulation, uh, and then the great tribulation will come uh, I'm going to have to paraphrase it here. I don't know this by heart, but it, it talks about how there's, there is no tribulation greater before, nor shall there be after. So that's the great tribulation right there that they'll go, to, go through. And it said you'll be killed. Uh, some will be killed. Some will be given up to, in a prison and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, and then, then, then after that, it talks about how um, many false Christs will come in his name, you know, claiming to be Jesus. Um, and talking about how, you know, I, you know, I'm, I have not come yet, you know, keep, keep watch. And when he does come, he's going to come, you know, he's, he's going to come in flaming fire, taking vengeance on all those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. He, you know, he's going to, we see a, a, a post-tribulation rapture that, it, you know, there's, that, that, that's the way I see it anyway. It's, that's not really salvation doctrine though. Um, I mean, you can see it either way, and it's not like, you know, you're going to be cast into hell for, for seeing it that way. At least that's not the way I see it or whatever. But, you know, the, the, the major thing, man, is just, you know, just to cry out to him and just be, just humbly seek him, man. You know, he'll, I, I promise he'll respond. Because yeah. I, I didn't think he would either, but it was, it was, see, I had to go through what I was telling you about, all the anxiety and stuff. I basically had to go through that to humble myself. Um, I was not a humble person. I was very prideful before that. And I thought I had everything figured out. But through that situation, he showed me that I don't. I don't, I don't, I can't run my life. You know, I'm not capable. <laughs> and um, everything fell apart. And then I was, you know, terrified of my own death. And that's when I cried out to him. You know, I, I had to hit rock bottom before I cried out to him. But it doesn't have to be that way. You know, if you had that humility in you now, man, I mean, you can cry out to him. I, I promise you he'll respond. He's faithful. Because it's not his will for any any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. So it's his, his will for us. Repenting is is having a change of mind. And in the context of our rebellion towards God, uh, repentance is having a change of mind of, of our sin. It's going from, like, loving our sin and eating it up, like, you know, drinking it up. Sin, 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 you know, fornication, lust, adultery, uh, getting drunk, all that kind of stuff. Whatever sin, you you know, you find yourself in. It's going from loving all that to actually hating it the way God hates it. Yeah. And, it and if that happens, you'll hate it to the point you don't do it anymore. Because um, that's, you know, God is, God can't even be around sin because he's so, revol he's so reviled by it. Um, but he gives us the power to stop sinning. And he'll, he'll give that to you, man. Thank you very much. He'll give that to you. Hey, brother, you know about phones? What's that? You know about phones? Oh. There you go. Your uh, mobile data was turned off for whatever oh, reason. Oh, really? Yeah. Should be able to get on now. Oh, okay. Wow. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man. I, I, yeah, give, you, I, I yeah. give you a track, didn't I? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, man. Yeah, look, look, look at that, man. You know, time's, time's short, you know? It's, like, it's crazy, man, because I've been dreaming, like, it's crazy, bro. And I know mm -hmm. how the world's gonna end, bro. And it, it's crazy. I, 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 like, I see it already, bro. It's, it's scary, bro. It's scary. Like, Just, you know how everybody's all partying and having a good time? 
I see people's faces like, oh my god, you know what I mean? Like, Make sure, make sure you know him, man. You know, read, read what's on that track and just, you know, cry out to him. You know, make sure you're right with him. It's, it's, it's all that matters. I'm, I'm telling you, it's all that matters in this life because this life, the Bible says, this life is a vapor. Yeah. It appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Yeah. So it's before we know it, it's going to be too late. You know? No, oh, so it's too late, bro. No, it's not. It's not, man. You're it still living and breathing. I know, but it's too late. Bro. I think it's too late. Why? You think I mean, it's, not, not, not you're talking about for, for not, you? Not, not, no, everybody. Like, everybody. Is everybody... I'm 52, bro. Mm -hmm. I see people change. Like, a lot of people just... That's bad, bro. Jesus could change you in a moment, man. Literally. I've seen it. I've seen people get changed like that. Don't don't think you're too far gone, man. Because here's the thing. You don't know when you're gonna die. Yeah. You could die to you could die tonight. You know that? I, I know, I know. And it, and you, you, you don't even know. know you you could on. have an aneurysm in your heart, like a ticking time bomb that's about ready to go off. You have yeah. no you don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know when I'm going. You know, I could I could go tonight too. But the thing is, is this life, I the sole purpose of us being here is to come to a knowledge of the truth. The truth is Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's, we got eternity ahead of us. And if we waste this life, man, if we don't come to a knowledge of the truth of this life, we've wasted our lives. So just, you know, just make sure you know him, man. You know, you got you got a phone with service. Um, you could, there's an app out there that's called the Version Bible app or the yeah. Bible Gateway app. Yeah. You can have, you can have the Bible right there on your phone. You can listen to it. You know, I, I've been I've been hearing a lot of people doing that, walking around. Yeah. And listening to Bible. The Bible. Yeah. It's it's good, man. It's, that's the words of life, you know. It's the words of life. Yeah. Don't don't let it pass you by, man. Because you you know the alternative is hellfire. Weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. It's it's separation from God yeah. and it's God pouring out his wrath on you for all eternity. Yeah. Don't don't do it, man. You know. The the rest of the time you got here in this life now, mm -hmm. spend it try coming to know God, man. Yeah. Just turn you gotta turn away from all your sin. He'll help you do it. He'll empower you to do that. I promise you. But it's good talking to you guys, and just you know, read that track, man. And I'm telling you, like, get get that Bible app on your phone and just just read the Bible, man. I do. It's 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 really it's really like that's what it's all about. Thank, thanks for helping people. Okay. Because people, oh, they're so dark. Bro. Just don't let that be you, man. Don't let that be you. Yes, yeah, so I know. There's some. See, some people are they're like. He's still living and breathing, man, but he might be given over. I, you see how he's talking? He's, he's talking to demons. You still have, bro, you still have a sound mind. I can see it. You have a sound, you're listening, you're talking with me. You're able to pick things up. Don't forsake that. You know, you, that could be you tomorrow. You don't, you don't know. I see that. There's evil spirits at work out here. Yeah. I see that. Just, just don't, don't let yourself go, man. You know, make sure you know Jesus. He's the one that saves us, and he can save you too. Just cry out to him, man. I'm I'm just walking around, talking to anyone who listen to me. <laughs> What's that? You see too? No, I, I I live over in Mesa, but yeah, no, I just I try to come out here on Friday night and just you know whoever will talk to me. Some, oh, yeah, some, that's cool, bro. Sometimes people, yeah. Sometimes sometimes people want to beat me up. <laughs> it's like well, you know whatever. It's uh, you know, it's yeah. people don't like to hear the gospel. What's that? It's it's all him, you know. That's what I'm telling you, man. You know, it's I I, I was this, reaching. That's it. He he's but he's well he's 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 using me. You know, I'm I'm just being a servant. But you know, I'm telling you, man, cry out to him. You know, come to know him. 
all this stuff down here, man. All this stuff is death. You know, like these these ladies walking by here, they they got an agenda. Yeah, they're out here to deceive you. That's why, that's why they're walking around like they are, man. That's why they're walking around half naked. You know, it's but but he man he can he can change your heart to where that you you have protection against that. That's what they want. What's that? What's that? She said burn. She said that. Oh yeah. I mean, come on, man. You know they. Well, I like that. Man. I mean, they're they're young, but yeah. see, the thing is, we don't know how much time is left. Like you're saying, you know, you see things winding down. You see the the signs of the times. You see stuff changing. All this COVID stuff. You know, pretty soon they're they're gonna start forcing vaccination on people. Who knows what's in that junk, man? Yeah. Um, you know, it's there. This agenda is coming down. You know, and I'm not I'm not trying to like talk all conspiracy theorists and all that kind of stuff, but. It's like we see this, that's, the, the times are changing, and there's stuff going on, man. And you, like you said, like you can see it. Yeah. So just, you know, that's, if, if that's anything at all, if that means anything, mm -hmm. um, you know, because we don't know. We're not omniscient. You know, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. But yeah. go, 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 go. you sense stuff okay. going on. How you doing, man? Okay. Adam. What are you doing? I don't. No. Where you doing, doggy? Well. Time to get out. Hey, did you go? Is it? No, no, no. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Cry out, man. Cry out to yeah. him. I'm telling Thank you, don't, you don't let, don't, don't let this life slip you by, yeah. man. Make sure you know Jesus, okay? Yeah. Jesus? No, thank you. you guys know Jesus? You sure? You guys know Jesus? Jesus yes, Christ? Sir. You guys know Jesus? Hello. Read that, man. It, Check that out. Right. Eternal life, man. That's what it's all about. You know Jesus, man? You guys know Jesus Christ? You guys want some beer trivia? Beer trivia? Oh no, thanks. I'm sorry. You guys want some beer trivia? Sure. Yeah. All You guys know Jesus? Right, I can. You 
guys know Jesus? Uh, no, thank you. Jesus Christ? You want to know Jesus? Hey, man, you know Jesus? You want to read that? You guys know Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ? What? I don't, I don't think no. so. It's a beer trivia? No? Alright. You guys know Jesus? You guys know Jesus Christ? Make sure you know him. You know Jesus, man? Huh? You know Jesus? I do, as a matter of fact. Yeah, he's do a you? personal friend of mine. Well, that's awesome. I got a friend named Jesus. Do you know Jesus Christ though of Nazareth? Oh, that is, who else? So you're you, okay. So you, you know Jesus? Duh, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh, well, that's that's oh, a funny Lord response. Oh, my God. All right. Are you, are when you? I know some wonder, consider all the worlds Thy hands have made. Praise God. Now, have you have you been set free from your sin? I'll answer for them. I know that. That's where everybody gets confused. Well, then you don't know him. No, I do. I know. No, you I'm don't. Not... Because the Bible says that you, you you want to know how you know him if you keep his commandments. It says that in First John chapter two, verse three and four. He who says I, I he who says I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So you might be deceived. What are the commandments? Love the Lord your God with all yes, your heart, with all that. your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. That is summed up in those two commandments. You, sh you sure? Are, are you still sinning? Are you committing sin? Let me tell you this. We're all sinners, honey. We're all no. born an original sinner. Hmm? That's a false doctrine. That's a, that's John Calvin's doc. That's John Calvin's gospel, uh, not Jesus well, Mary, Christ. Well, Mary, Mary, Mary is not born an original sin. She's the only perfect person, and no. she gave birth to Jesus. No, she was a sinner. She needed a savior as well. The Bible says, "All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God." Look, honey, honey, it's all it's all a coping mechanism. And I'm coping oh. just fine, honey. Well, don't, don't, Go. don't, don't show, don't brush it off, man. I'm not brushing it off at all. I'm saying, I'm not claiming to be perfect. The Bible says you can be perfect. And I'm glad to have met you. Oh, well, I'm glad to have met you. The Bible says you can be perfect, though. 
Oh no, that yeah. Actually, loving loving your neighbor as yourself, that you can be perfect in that way. And Jesus was telling a man, a man that asked him, you know, what, uh, you know, what else do I need to do besides keeping? Well, at that time, you know, they're under the law of Moses, so he was Let keeping the law. I'm circumcised. I love my neighbor as well, I love myself. Well, circumcision won't do anything God for you. God is God, and He is great. Yeah. But Jesus said to go and sin no more. I have a Bible. Okay. I will not deny his father in front of my friends. All right. Because I am, I fear God, and I fear that Jesus will deny me in front of his father. Yep. I am a God-fearing man. Well, that's good. Then you go, wanna... go, 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 talk to that guy. You, you want me to walk away so bad right now? Not really. I don't want you to walk away. I know. I know. I'm, I'm kind of interrupting your show. I'm sorry. No, it's, no, it's not a show. That, that's been there for. We, it's not a show. It's not a show. Can, I, show. can I give you? A, can I give you a gospel track? I'll give it. Uh, would, you, would you read it? Yeah, I'll, I'll read it. Yeah, okay. of course. Yeah, give me a couple. Let, let me, let me I'll do that. spread it. I'll spread do that it. one. I, that's what I'm here for. I, I do spread the gospel. Okay, this 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 is a little harsh, but I'm gonna give you that one too. I do spread the gospel, and I do like this stuff. I do like. I, I live for okay. this stuff. All right. Just make sure you know Jesus, man, when you die. You know. It's you'll go to hell if you don't. No, I'm coming, man. I'm. Uh, I'm. Don't don't go I'm to hell. Close. Do not go to hell, bro. I'm telling this you. This is hell. No, way, this, the, this is not hell. No. Uh, this is this is earth. This is hell, but it's not over. This this is not hell. Hell hell is horrible. He allowed me. To, <laughs> you don't know what I've been through. I, I've. I'm I'm crawling my way out of hell. That's why I'm grateful for you. You're you're not in hell, man. You haven't gone to hell yet. Do not go to hell. I appreciate this. You're under the grace of God right now. The grace of God. Yes. The grace of God. By the grace of God. But do you know, okay, so can I, let me, let me give you this. Titus chapter 2, verses 11 and 12. Titus 2, yep, it's, 11 and it's a, it's a letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to, to Titus. Um, verses 2, 11 through 12 says, the gra it talks about what the grace of God is. It says, the grace of God, which brings salvation, has appeared to all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age, here and now. We have to, we need to go and sin no more here in this world now. Titus 2, 11 and 12? Yep. If we can't, it's not, it's not like we're not going to be cleansed of our sin when we die. We, we got to be cleansed now. And we got to go and sin no more now. Because no sinner is going to be allowed into heaven, man. Exactly. No sinner is going to be allowed into Abraham's bosom is actually what it is, not heaven. Abraham's bosom, and then later New Jerusalem. Um, but you don't you don't want to go to hell, man, because that's you'll pay for your sin. Remember, you were saying I will answer for my sins. Don't answer for your sins, man. You don't have to. Be cleansed of your sins. Believe in Jesus Christ. Believe He's the Son of God. Believe that, that, that you've done wickedly, and that you can be cleansed of your sin. You can be washed of it all. I try not to be wicked. I was born don't, wicked, but I try not to be don't, wicked. Okay, here's the thing. Don't try. You gotta die. Not, not like literally. You die. I die every day. You gotta die to yourself. You, this, the old person, the old you, needs to die so that God can live in you, and He'll give you the power to go and sin no more. Just, you know, just, just count. To, I know you're a young guy, man. I know you, you got probably got a lot of stuff going on. But just, you know, See, just I don't believe think in about this. this stuff. What's that? I don't believe in this. I don't believe in this. You don't believe in idols? You don't believe in all that stuff? What, what, do, you, what do you mean? I don't believe in all of them. Well... Oh, that, that, okay, okay, I dig that. Yeah, no... I dig that, I dig that, no, I dig that. I dig yeah, that. it's, it's... See, Joel Olsen, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like Taylor Swift, I don't like... Yeah. Demi, I don't see it's, it's you know what, what you know what all I those are. I don't believe in idols, That's but what, I believe that there yeah. are those here to preach the gospel. None of these are here to preach the gospel. Like no. you look like Bob Dylan. I do. Yeah, you do. Okay. But not. Uh, but those those are just those are those could potentially some, be idols. No, I don't believe in idols, but I believe in heroes, and I believe our heroes are here to preach the gospel. Our right our rightful heroes are here to preach the gospel. What well, do you know what an idol is, though? Yes, a false god. Okay, all right. You're, okay, Somebody you, know. you put before God. There. Okay. I don't so you, believe in so idols, you know. but I believe in heroes that come here to preach the gospel. 
preaching the low roots gospel. But those, but you don't want to make them an idol either. Exactly. It's it's all it's just it's no. All there's a him. difference. Yeah. There's a big difference between people like this and people who just sing to preach Lord's preach sing to preach the Lord's gospel. Yeah, people just and those are those people are nobody next to God though. It's all, exactly. it's all about him. Yeah. And they acknowledge that. Yeah. Right. And that's what I'm trying to be. They should. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. Yeah. No, I'm not here for this, but you could that's be. what I do. That's what that's what he wants you to do. This is what I do. I mean, you're preaching to the choir. You're literally preaching to the choir. Yeah, well, that, I mean, you, you were singing How Great Thou Art a minute ago, man. You know? You're know, you literally preaching to the choir. But, but don't let me tell you what to do. No, I mean, I'm if, not. That's if, why I'm saying. That's yeah. why I'm saying. Go yeah. preach to somebody else, you know? Yeah. You're All preaching right. to the choir. Okay. Literally. <laughs> well, I hope so, man. <laughs> I hope so. I hope you, you know him. I really do. I, I really do have a concern that, you know, that for you to know him. So do I. I'm always concerned, honey. All right. All right. You're preaching to the choir. I, I hope so. I hope so. I, I'll i keep these things. Only God knows that. But yeah, check them God, out, man. Peace of God be with you, man. Peace of God be with you. You as well. All right. Take care. <laughs> You guys know Jesus? Okay, no Jesus Christ, man? Oh, I'm good, yeah, but I already know. Alright. Okay, what this is you guys know Jesus? Yeah. Jesus Christ, man, you wanna know him? You guys know Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ. Yeah, just check it out, man. So it's some gospel stuff on the back. It's, it's kinda harsh, but man, it's like you know, cry out to him if you don't know him. Time's running short. <sighs> you guys know Jesus? Yes. Praise God. Do you guys know Jesus Christ? Yeah, I do. Yeah? I got a good relationship with him. You want to read that? You still in your sin? Are you a sinner? Are you a sinner? No. You, you sure you don't want to read this, man? Don't, don't listen to what the church is preaching these days, man. It's, it's reprobate. We got to stop sinning. He can give us the power to do it. It's not about earning salvation, but it's about obeying him. All right? You guys know Jesus Christ?
How's it going? Hey, you guys know Jesus? I tried to give you one before. Hey, man, you know Jesus Christ? Huh? Want a gospel track? Oh, thank you. Hey, you know Jesus? Yes. I probably get to know him better, though. Thank you. What's that? I said I could probably get to know him better, though. Thank well, you. I hope so. Yeah. Thank you. Time's short. Make sure you're repenting all your sin. We got to turn away from all sin. But we got to know him first, right? We got to know him and obey him. All right, praise God. Do you like a gospel track, sir? Good news of Jesus Christ. Yeah, can you read that okay on the back? Read it, man. That too small? Yeah, I use it like I met it. Yeah, it's basically just about, you know, bearing fruit to God, you know, with our lives. Sure? Yeah, thank you, yeah. You know, I don't want to, I don't sure you want another yeah. one? No, 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 I don't care, man. No? Okay. Thank you, yeah. Make sure you know him, man. Yeah. Time's running out. So is like a gospel track about Jesus, about Jesus Christ. It's about bearing fruit to God. You've got to repent of all your sins. Just turn to Jesus, man, in faith. Yeah. He can save your soul. Yeah. It's his will that you be saved, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise God. Just just read that, cry out to him, man. I'm already just, um, what's that? baptized uh, but, um, Mormon, though, yeah. Mormon? Yeah. Yeah, man, that's it's but that religion can't save you. Only Jesus yeah, can save yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Just cry out to him, man. You can know him.